overall kind of thoughts about that, so, so it's been disappointing. Um, I think at any level, if you don't take your chances, it gives the opposition an opportunity to stay in the game, and then when they get the one chance, we switch off at the corner and we get punished on it. And if, as I say, we had plenty of chances in the game, we need to be clinical at that end, and it's, uh, it's not good enough. You know? Can I especially disappoint you considering how clinical you've been in the first two games? Yeah, that's, that's disappointing. Um, I think it's probably just the fact that the chances we had were really good chances. Um, and we can't have as many as that and not take them. I think we need to do that. I'm very disappointed in the fact that we switched off at the corner and um, the man which will lose the goal. The three header in our six yard box at any level, that's not good enough. So something we definitely need to work on on that. Um, and then obviously, credit to Kelty, the longer the game went on, they were putting their body on the line, um, goal people made a few saves. Um, lack of quality and composure from us in the end kept them the chance to go and stay in the game and eventually they went and got the goal and then we have to puff without really taking them so it's bad gate losses that's for sure It feels like we've been talking about losing bad games at set pieces for like five managers for six seasons now what is it? That was just a lack of concentration today switching off, ball went out and uh, we don't adjust quickly enough and that's just our desire and our mindset not to, to defend your goal and make sure you do things properly. Uh, and credit to them, they had the, the appetite, to, you know, he was desperate to go and put his head in it and he'd done that and scored. So I think that's um, definitely something we're aware of and we need to work on. I think we've been very good at it in three seasons, um, but we need to learn from it quickly. It's important the boys, when they get back to the, obviously got friend in the week, but when they get back to the kind of competitive action as well, that you just, you show this was just a wee bump in the road and, you know, things are ready in the direction. Yeah, it needs to be. Um, certainly, it's not as if we came here. I think you need to come here and understand what it takes to win. There's teams that I said before the game, the challenges that you can face. Um, coming to a place like this, the challenge, and there's going to be another challenge again with Peter Head at the weekend. We need to make sure we're ready for that. Um, dust ourselves down as quick as we can, take all the. Um, basically reflect on what we can do better and make sure we do do that, and that starts straight away on Monday morning. I know you've half a dozen changes today, but it's not as if you throw the boys and like kids in there, so what do you think of the guys that went in? Is it, do you put the blame on them, the guy? No, we're all in this together, I'm not blaming anyone individually. I think collectively we weren't at the level we've been for the last uh, two competitive games, definitely not. Um, <laughs> And that needs to be the challenge, that if we do make changes, the players that come in, regardless of the team that's playing, needs to still step up to the level, and he dropped the level today. Um, whether that be from a lack of quality, a lack of composure in the final third, the chances we created, we did have enough to go and win the game, but we didn't do that, didn't get that goal early enough to, to then go and impose ourselves on the game properly, and the longer, as I've already said, you stay 0-0, uh, and creating chance after chance, and wasting chances, uh, some of them clear cut chances as well. It just gives the opposition the opportunity to, if they get one chance and we switch off once, to be punished, and that's what's happened today. We talked about it a bit yesterday, but just like we're having all those chances, does it again kind of highlight the need for to having another striker that you can bring off the bench in days like this? Yeah, I think that obviously the more quality you can have in that area of the pitch, the better. The, the more competition for places. I've already mentioned that no one's shying away from the fact that we need players in the forward areas to add to the squad, and that's something we're working hard to do. Um, but that's, again, today we created enough chances today to win the game of football. We just needed to be far more clinical and far far more composed in front of the goal. So, uh, Joseph um, He's just had a wee reaction, um, just diving on his hip a little bit. But to be honest, the, the way he's, he's had two 90 minutes back to back, even today with the changes I've made, it's, it's three games in a week, 90 minutes, using the, using the, the squad. Um, and it's an opportunity for someone else to come in and try and to get minutes into them and to make sure the level doesn't drop and unfortunately we're not able to do that today. Thank you. Thank you.